Hey guys, what's up? Today I am going to be showing you how I took a sad little corner of my apartment to Ikea bookshelves and turned it into a princess. This was a process that took me many months of collecting the materials needed for this project. So I'll just do sort of a show and tell, if you will, and take you through the journey of creating my breakfast nook. So when we first moved into this apartment, this area in our kitchen was sort of just a dead space. The previous tenants were using it as like a storage area, which I didn't really wanna do. So one of my friends suggested I do a breakfast nook because she did it at her apartment and that seemed intriguing. So I started where everything begins by measuring the nook to see if it would even work, honestly. So here's a little clip of my really, really well thought out sketch of the area. Okay, so here is my stunning diagram of where our Ikea bookshelves will be going. So this wall is 73 inches, this wall is only 52 inches, and the bookshelf is 50, pretty much 58 inches. So it's gonna be too long for this wall. So we're actually gonna be utilizing all 52 inches of this wall and just cutting off you know, any excess from the shelf that doesn't fit and just screwing it on. And then putting the other 58 inch shelf up against it. So you'll never see, even if we have to put like ugly screws into this one, you'll never see it. So that is what we're gonna do here. And it should be a perfect fit if I measured right. So obviously I deemed that I needed two bookshelves. And since these are a really popular Ikea piece, these are just the Calyx shelves. I had a feeling I could find them on Facebook Marketplace, so that's what I did. This required a bit of patience. I found one right off the bat, and then I just kept looking, and two weeks later, I found a second one. So once we had both benches, we obviously knew we had to cut one, so I kind of just went for it with a handsaw. I measured how much I needed to cut off and got to work, and this is where the first of our problems arrived. Don't do that. Okay. The whole shelf isn't wood. So my grand plan to just create new screw holes to screw the base back on did not pan out. And we ultimately just left it looking like this because we knew it would be in a corner anyway and covered up with a bench seat cushion. So that's just what we ended up doing. At the end of the day, I knew that this was just gonna be a place for me to sit and eat a quick snack or meal and maybe do a little work so I wasn't too worried about it so for a while we ended up having our benches looking like this and we started using them for storage which turned out to be a really great addition now here's where real life kicked in <laughs> i ended up leaving it like this for like five months okay i just didn't have the time to be constructing bench cushions so i just left it how it was and i bought a random table off of facebook marketplace to go here for the time being Okay, to be honest, I don't know when the last time I filmed something for this video was. It's been a while because um, we did the benches, as you can see here. We've been using them as storage, which has been great. Um, I got the table, which I don't really like, but the reason I got it, this is such a disaster, is because it kind of matched this and it was like the right size. So I just got it. It was from Facebook Marketplace, super cheap. So if I want to get a new one, then I'll just do something else with this, maybe resell it, I don't know yet. But this is kind of temporary. Might paint the legs black or do something to just like modernize it a bit because the legs are very dated and not really my style. But the holdup was me not realizing how much foam costs. Okay, <laughs> we got a three inch foam piece and this was so expensive. I don't actually remember how much I'll put it on the screen. Oops, okay, goodbye. Um, and we had to get plywood because we're gonna put the foam on top of the plywood and then staple the fabric to the bottom of the plywood to make these benches. So we have the plywood, the correct size, the foam I need to cut to the size of the plywood. So that's what we're gonna do today and then I'm gonna go pick out fabric uh, this weekend if I have time um, and get that all done. Finally, I wanna get a rug for here to kind of separate out the space um, and give it just like a little bit more character because the floors in here are pretty ugly and then do a little bit of like wall decor on top. So that's the plan for the nook. So let's get to cutting some foam. 
The next thing I worked on was just cutting the foam to fit the size of the benches and the plywood, which we had cut to be the same size as the benches based off of my beautiful sketch that I showed you earlier. So then I just went ahead, honestly, put the plywood on top of the foam and just cut it out with a Milwaukee tool knife. Okay, we have a seat number one completed. So as you can see, it's gonna go up to here. And then the next cushion's gonna go this way. I am very excited. It's pretty comfy. And then I did the same thing to the other piece of foam the exact same way. And then I went to pick out my fabric. I found this fabric on sale for 50% off because it was already cut. And I estimated that I needed about four yards of fabric. And this was 3.9, so it was risky, but I decided to go for it because it was the only pattern I really liked. It's also a cotton blend, so it's not really meant for heavy use because it will stretch. So keep that in mind if you're shopping for upholstery fabric. But it was pretty cheap. I thought it was pretty, so I just bought it. And then when I got home, it did appear it was not going to be enough fabric. But I ended up being able to finagle it so that there was barely enough to pull over the edges of the plywood, and then I got to cutting. Once my fabric was cut, I just Googled how to upholster a bench and found a random video, so I don't really have any good instructions. I just kind of winged it, especially with the corners. If you do this, I would recommend watching an actual tutorial on this, so I just did this with both cushions. Okay, this is the staple gun I'm gonna be using. And so let's start from the center and work outwards. Let's just make sure that this is good. We've got enough on each side. Obviously, you probably want to do more, but this is what I had to work with. So here's what it looks like. So we're just going to kind of go around and do all this side and then go to the other side and I think we're gonna do the corners last. The corners ended up turning out decent. Because of the fabric pattern, you can't really tell that I didn't do a great job. But when I sent a picture to my mom, she said I did a good job, so that's all I really care about. Then I just went ahead and cut any of the excess fabric off of the bottom of the cushions. So now it is time to share with you the final product. mean by the fact that the table isn't a perfect fit it's a little too small for this space I would need something a little bit longer but honestly for now it's totally fine I'm thinking of also getting some kind of rug for under here as well to finish it off and really make it feel like it's its own designated area so let me know what you think I should get for that that is it for today's video I hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel my next video is going to be my full apartment tour, so I'm really excited about that. So make sure you have notifications turned on as well so that you know when I post that video. Thank you so much for watching today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!